Let's get into the news. Uh, yesterday, after the resignation of President Donald Trump's top economic advisor, Gary Cohn, Trump tweeted, We'll be making a decision soon on the appointment of new chief economic advisor. Many people wanting the job will choose wisely. We'll choose wisely. Then people who voted in 2016 were like, oh, yeah, that's what we should have done. <laughs> should have chosen more wisely. <laughs> Trump saying many people want the job is the political equivalent of my girlfriend's totally real. She just goes to a different school in Canada. <laughs> when Trump says many people want the job, what he means is many people want to work for three months, resign, and get a million dollars to write a book. <laughs> Honestly, I think they should give the job to Ari from The Bachelor. <laughs> Do you think? Why not? <laughs> he doesn't know anything about economics. Everybody already hates him. He's perfect for the Trump administration. <laughs> In other Trump news, adult film star Stormy Daniels is back, and this time she's suing Trump, claiming that a 2016 hush agreement preventing her from discussing their affair is invalid because, get this, Trump never signed it. <laughs> this is amazing, mostly because it's the first time Trump has ever not put his name on something. <laughs> But it does raise the question, how many porn star hush agreements does Trump have that he actually forgot to sign one? <laughs> this reminds me, Tim, I'm going to need you to si sign those papers that I sent over. <laughs> Tim, I'm going to need you to sign those papers that I sent <laughs> Sign the papers, Tim. Sign the papers, Tim. <laughs> Why can't I quit you? <laughs> But it gets even worse for the, uh, for the president because the hush agreement uh, infers that Stormy Daniels may have confidential photos of Donald Trump, which sounds like a threat. Not to him, to the rest of us. <laughs> if there are naked pictures of Donald Trump... <laughs> if there are naked pictures of Donald Trump... They can go ahead and stay hushed. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Moving on, Donald Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, was sent to Mexico today to head up a United States delegation to meet with the Mexican president. When they heard Kushner was going to visit, Mexico announced that they're going to go ahead and put that wall up themselves. It's fine. <laughs> And finally, Billy McFarland, the man who co-founded last year's disastrous fire festival. Do you remember this, where thousands of concertgoers were stranded in the Bahamas, where he pleaded guilty to fraud charges yesterday after he admitted to scamming investors out of millions of dollars. He faces 40 years in prison. On the bright side, prison food is way better than anything they served at Firefest. <laughs> Meanwhile, the people who went to Firefest were like, this is great news, but when is someone going to come and get us out of here? <laughs> McFarland exaggerated his company's financial stability, including false statements about revenue, insurance policies and bank loans. In a related story, Trump says he's found his new economic advisor. 